Scene script. Have you ever wondered what existed before the creation of the world? What was there before Genesis 1, 1? Our journey begins with Genesis 1, 1, where it is written, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. This verse, simple yet profound, has sparked thought-provoking discussions among scholars and theologians for centuries. One may ask, what does in the beginning mean? The phrase suggests a starting point, a moment when everything we know, from the vast cosmos to our own humble planet, began to exist. But if we delve deeper, we realize that this beginning is not so much about the creation of the physical world, but rather the commencement of time itself. The verse makes it clear that before the beginning, there was God. Yet, the concept of before becomes a bit of a paradox when we consider that time, as we understand it, did not exist until God willed it into being. This implies that God exists outside of time, in a timeless realm that's beyond our comprehension. This brings us to another intriguing point of discussion. If God created the heavens and the earth, what was God's existence like before this act of creation? Some theologians propose that God existed in an eternal now, a state of perfect and complete existence. This existence was not bound by time or space, nor was it dependent on anything else. We may also ponder on the nature of God's existence. God, as described in the Bible, is a being of spirit, not confined to physicality or material existence. This spiritual existence is another concept that stretches beyond our human understanding, yet it's an essential part of comprehending what was before the world was. Lastly, we must remember that our understanding of God and existence is limited by our human perspective. We see the world through the lens of time and space because that's how we experience reality. However, God, the creator of all things, exists beyond these constructs. So, before the world was created, there was God, existing in a realm beyond our understanding. But why did God create the world? What was the purpose behind this grand design? These questions have intrigued minds for centuries. The answer may be found in the pages of the Bible, specifically in the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 18. This verse reads, For thus says the Lord, who created the heavens, he is God, who formed the earth and made it, he established it, he did not create it empty, he formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, and there is no other. This passage provides us with a profound understanding of the divine purpose behind the creation of the world. It suggests that God did not create the world as a hollow and lifeless sphere, but rather, he shaped it with a clear intent for it to be inhabited. This is a powerful sentiment that tells us that the world was designed with life in mind, with a purpose to sustain and nurture the lives of its inhabitants. This purpose carries an intrinsic significance for us as humans. It implies that our existence is not a mere accident or a cosmic coincidence. Instead, it is a part of an elaborate divine design, a purposeful creation by a higher power. We are not just random occupants of the earth, rather we are crucial components of God's grand design. Our lives, our actions, our choices, they all matter. They are all part of this larger purpose. This notion impacts us in profound ways. It shapes our understanding of our place in the world, our role in the universe. Please like this video, share it with those who might need it, and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Also, turn on post notification that will alert you when we post new video. It gives our lives a sense of meaning and purpose, a sense of belonging. It reminds us that we are not alone, that we are part of something much bigger, and that we are loved and valued by our Creator. Understanding this purpose helps us recognize our worth and encourages us to live our lives in a way that aligns with this divine design. It urges us to respect the world we inhabit and to cherish the life it sustains. We, as humans, are a significant part of God's purpose for the world. What was God doing before he created the world? Did time even exist? These are questions that have puzzled theologians, philosophers and seekers of truth for centuries. Such queries catapult us into the realm of the timeless, the eternal, where our usual temporal references cease to hold meaning. Let's delve into some theories and interpretations about God's existence before the creation of the world. An interesting perspective is the concept of God existing outside the constraints of time. Imagine a timeless dimension, where the past, present and future are all one. This is a realm beyond human comprehension, 
a dimension where God, being omnipresent, existed before the world was formed. Another intriguing perspective comes from St. Augustine, who famously said, God was preparing hell for people who pry into mysteries. Is this a call to tread carefully, or an invitation to deepen our understanding? The Bible offers insight into these musings in John 1. 1. 2. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. These verses signify that God, as the Word, existed before the world. The word here is a reference to Jesus, who was with God in the beginning. This suggests that God was not idle but active and alive before creation. These verses also imply that God is self-sufficient. He didn't need to create the world out of necessity or loneliness, but out of his own free will and abundant love. It paints the picture of a God who exists independently of the universe, yet chooses to interact with his creation in a personal and intimate way. In conclusion, the question of what God was doing before he created the world may remain a mystery, a divine secret that humans may never fully comprehend. Yet we can rest in the assurance that God was, is, and will always be. This timeless truth anchors us as we navigate life's mysteries, reminding us of the eternal, unchanging nature of our Creator. God was, is, and will always be. The creation of the world is not just a historical event, it has a profound impact on us, even today. The narrative of creation, as told in the Bible, is much more than an ancient tale. It shapes our worldview, our understanding of our place in the cosmos, and our relationship with the divine. Let's delve into the book of Genesis, specifically Genesis 1.27, where it says, So God created man in his own image, in the image of God he created him, male and female, he created them. This verse is not just about our physical creation, but also about our spiritual nature. It implies that like God, we too possess the capacity to love, to create, to reason, and to make moral choices. It's an affirmation of our inherent dignity and worth. Being created in God's image also implies a unique relationship with our Creator. Please don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe right now. It suggests that we are not random products of an unguided process, but purposefully designed by a loving God. This belief can provide a sense of comfort and belonging, knowing that we are part of a grand design, that we are valued and loved. Furthermore, this creation story influences our understanding of our place in the universe. We are not insignificant specks in the cosmos, but rather, we hold a special place in the grand scheme of things. We are caretakers of the earth, stewards of God's creation. This responsibility, bestowed upon us by our Creator, instills in us a sense of purpose and a call to action. It urges us to care for our environment, to respect all forms of life, and to strive for justice and peace. Indeed, the impact of the creation story on us is profound. It shapes our identity, our relationships, our worldview, and our sense of purpose. It reminds us that we are more than just physical beings. We are spiritual entities, bearing the image of our Creator. We are created in the image of God, and that shapes our identity and purpose. So, what have we learned about what happened before the creation of the world? We've journeyed back to the very beginning of beginnings, to a time before time itself, to understand the divine mystery of what transpired before the world as we know it came into existence. We've delved into the purpose of creation, the existence of God before creation, his activities, and the profound impact of creation on us. In the realm of eternity that predates our world, God was. His existence, infinite and unbounded, transcends our human understanding of time and space. God, in his omnipotent glory, was active, living, and full of purpose even before the foundation of the universe. The Bible, in its poetic eloquence, gives us glimpses into this divine reality. We also explored the purpose of creation. God, in his infinite wisdom and boundless love, chose to create a world teeming with life, diversity, and beauty. He brought forth the heavens and the earth, the seas, and all that dwell therein. Not as a whimsical act of divine power, but as a deliberate act of love and purpose. We, humans, are the pinnacle of his creation, made in his very image to be stewards of this beautiful world. The impact of creation on us is profound. As God's image bearers, we have a divine mandate to care for the world and its inhabitants. Our existence is not an accident, but a divine purpose woven into the very fabric of creation. This understanding brings a meaning to our lives and guides our interactions with the world around us. 
As we reflect on these truths, we gain a deeper understanding of God, His grand design for creation, and our place in it. We realize that we are not mere spectators, but active participants in God's ongoing work of creation and redemption. Understanding the world before creation deepens our understanding of God, His purpose for us and our place in creation. Now one of our tasks is to illuminate our audience and encourage them to seek salvation if they are not in Christ already. So if you have not given or surrendered your life to the Lord Jesus Christ, well, here is an opportunity as we would like to lead you to salvation in the Bible way. Tomorrow might be too late. I implore you, in the name of the Lord, not to delay your salvation any longer starting today. Say this prayer, please. O Lord God, I thank you for today. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe he died on the cross to save my soul. I believe God raised him from the dead, and he is alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. I receive by faith eternal life into my heart. Thank you, Lord. I have eternal life now. I am born again. I am a child of God from this day. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, I want you to know that God heard you and he has answered you. Say amen to this prayer, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for everyone who prayed that prayer. Let the name of Jesus be named upon them. From this moment, Satan has no claim over them. Anymore, they belong to Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I bless them with your word. I bless them with your love. I bless them with your grace. I bless them with the Holy Ghost, in the name of our Lord, Jesus, Amen. Praise God. Please locate any God-fearing, believing church around you and start a new journey in Christ. If you enjoy this video, please like, share it, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you, and God bless you.